Okay, hello guys. So this is going to be a collective reading from Aries to Pisces. My name is L. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every zodiac sign with a clear, concise message from you. So we're going to go from Aries to Pisces. First person to drop down in the comment section and uh, timestamp this. I will answer two free questions via the Tarot for you. Let them be yes and no questions. Please don't send me four page letters. I will not read them. Um, let's get into it. So first person to um, timestamp all signs in this uh, video will get two free questions answered. So take advantage if you can and thank you in advance. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for Aries. What's going on for Aries? What's going on for Aries? All right, Aries, your cards don't want to talk. Maybe strength card. Yeah, you're holding back or someone's holding back from you. Could be dealing with a Leo. So this would be the holding back because there's mistrust or yeah, you, you put your trust in something that you weren't supposed to or you don't want to get burned. You know that with this person, there's a lot of mystery and secrecy. This person may even just want sex from you or just want to engage in some pleasurable, fun relationship here. Um, they may miss you. You miss them. But there's still a level of holding back. There's also a level of ego associated with this. It's like someone's trying to make someone, uh, you come to me. So I'm going to hold back so that you can come to me here. Um, it says here, somebody needs to have forgiveness and compassion and dealing with one another. It could be the both of you. Um, there could have been some heavy words spoken also. There could have been someone doing something that was egregious, that was just hurtful altogether. Somebody just can't get over it. There's also holding back in terms of waiting for a large sum of money, loans, inheritance, taxes, things of those natures, and that this will be other people's money. So of course a loan is someone else's money, uh, taxes, you know, it's debatable. Um, if you're looking for a tax refund here, um, so anyhow, uh, with the strength card, it just seems as if you're holding on and you're holding back and you're trying to govern your emotions and your thoughts accordingly. Um, you're not trying to have an outburst. And the best way to do that is to not engage. So that's what's going on for Aries. Let's see what's going on for our Taurus. What is happening for my Taurus collective? The Ace of Wands, very nice. So you can fire it up about something. Um, put in more energy, effort, time behind maybe a business. This is the entrepreneur. This is the light worker. This is spirituality. This is psychic abilities. Maybe you're putting uh, time, energy into your business where you do something that is um, based in spirituality, maybe even based in talking or a high level of energy or you're putting things out there or you're posting or something of that nature where you're doing. The aces, excuse me, the wands are always about doing moving movement ace of wands this could even be sex here this could be conception some of you are getting pregnant or you are pregnant um this could even be giving birth this would be the labor you know this would be you actually you know giving birth some of you could be going into um you know water breaking something of that nature with the ace of wands here some of you just getting fired up about something and you're just like, you know what? I'm on this thing. I am throwing my hat in the ring. I'm up for the challenge. Whether this be a relationship or whether this be business, uh, romance, something. You got another ace coming out, the ace of swords here. So you have a yes answer with these two aces. It says the universe is trying to, you know, push you, propel you to the aces are portals to the divine. So it's opportunity handed by the divine. Like here, take it. It's for the taking. Now it's something you're going to have to grow because the ace um, talks about the one, um, the number one. So it's something that you're going to have to grow and put energy, effort, time into. Some of you have cut something off or cut something out. Maybe you shut out or you shut off a communication with you made some irrevocable change you've seen the truth of the matter the clarity of this has come without having the distraction of dealing with so you fill in the blank there so that's what's going on for Taurus let's see what's happening for Gemini what's happening for Gemini what's happening for Gemini all right Gemini 
What's going on for Gemini here? The world card. Yeah, closing out cycles here. Uh, leveling up, understanding that there's no more to be done in this situation. Maybe with a fixed energy, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. It could be anybody though. But you'll come into an energy of being fixed in your mind about this decision that you've made. It's just, it's just about leveling up going to the next level whatever this may be closing out cycle maybe even ending the argument here achievement this could be um you getting some achievement some award or being rewarded what is this about for my gemini the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck this could be even be secret plans to maybe partner with someone else or go somewhere else or do something else or put energy effort time into some something else or somewhere else this could be even for some of you this could even be like secret engagement like yeah somebody's going to pop the question either you're going to do this gemini someone wants to do this with you yeah this is this could be what this is um you could be doing this with maybe a fire sign there's a level of hesitancy and boundary and fear associated with going into this also. Somebody is thinking negatively. There also could be somebody in your ear or other people telling you not to do it, not to, to um, make this move. Maybe loan this money is what I'm getting, Gemini watch where you put your money somebody has a destructive influence on you watching something listening to something is destructing the plans that you have for yourself and someone else it's like you want to level up something but then there's fear yeah that's what's going on here for my gemini so um hmm, interesting energy all right let's see what's going on for cancer cancer so Gemini, this could be like signing the contract or going into business with or going into Hollywood, Tinseltown, I don't know. You're just not sure people are telling you to kind of hold back or um, set some boundaries or let someone else look at this or um, there could be some taboo type of uh, connection energy going on here uh, behind the scenes. Let's see what's going on for Cancer cancer it was okay cancer first card out seven of cups so got a lot of options on the table um this could also be laziness overindulging wishful thinking maybe about a relationship uh about love you have all these um fantasies and thoughts in your mind and your heart but you're not taking any action um again this could be laziness in terms of business the business of you your own business not taking the opportunity uh, not getting serious or not being serious, committed to. This is lack of focus, direction, and commitment. Um, uh, things being, still being a pipe dream up in the air. You could be selling somebody a dream or vice versa. This is what they're doing in terms of you with the Seven of Cups here. Somebody makes promises, but they don't have any intention of fulfilling the promise. Yeah, there's little progression moving forward in the relationship. There's a lot of passion maybe to do this thing to start this new business but very little progression yeah um somebody's not making any move they're just staying stuck stagnant still um trying to dot all the i's and cross all the t's but really not moving this could even be travel for work some of you it's just like slow growth in terms of your business um maybe even promoting yourself or putting yourself out there some of you don't know if you should go towards a soulmate um or soulmate connection you have mixed emotions mixed feelings um you're not sure about this person you're not sure about their intentions you're not sure if they're masquerading like something else you're not sure if it's going to be another power um a power play a power move you're still guarded towards a person even though they want to come back to you and you know that this is a high level soulmate. There's a lot of guardedness here and there's a lot of laziness and no focus. There, You could also be having a lot of different sexual partners. 
maybe even opportunity to have different sexual partners. Something isn't moving. Maybe some relationship has grown stuck, stagnant, boring. It just says in, inject some fun, okay? Um, before you look elsewhere, before you look outside of the relationship. All right, let's see what's going on for Leo. All right, Leo. Leo. Okay, what do we have to say for Leo? What do we have to say for Leo via... All right, there we are. We have the Six of Cups. All right, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You don't have to be. You could be dealing with your soulmate. This is how you feel. Um, you're just happy that maybe things are getting back to a simpler time in a relationship. You're just allowing yourself to be in love, to, have, to let love flow. You're in a good space emotionally. You also could be connecting backwards, you know, um, going back to your roots. It talks about declutter. Declutter either physically in your home or declutter your emotional space. You got too many emotions going on. You need to let go of some of them and focus on just one or you're going to be all over the place. This could also indicate maybe an imbalance when you drink or when you engage in spirits. You know, maybe um, you get very emotional. There could be emotional outbursts. Um, this could also be going back, you know, to your childhood um, residence or town and meeting a, a love partner, meeting somebody. This also could indicate that when you try to express how you feel to your person, it turns into an argument or it turns, yeah, it turns into a disagreement because of someone's lack of emotional maturity. Could be you, could be the other person. Yeah, the two of wands, this puts you at a place of maybe indecision, opposition, uh, a crossroads. You're wondering if the grass is greener on the other side. Should you be somewhere else doing something else, putting your time, your energy, effort into something else? Some of you need to put time, energy, effort into um, your gifts, what God, spirit, whatever you believe in has blessed you with. You're putting too much focus on another thing. It's like you're trying to find financial stability or stability between two, doing two different things. But it says one is going to dominate the other eventually. So it's like the it's going to make you make the decision to put all of your focus, 100% focus behind this thing. Yeah, and you're going to have to end one. So it's like going from being employed to being an employer being married to being no longer married, being ma being unmarried to being married. So it's like a, a real dynamic shift for you. But it looks like it's going to bring you a lot of peace, serenity, close. It's going to make sense to do this, whatever this may be in whatever time this could come around the spring for you, maybe even the summer where you're just going to choose to just put all direction behind one thing, have no plan B. Only plan A. All right, let's see. Virgo, what's going on for my Virgos? Virgos in the house, let me know down in the comment section. Virgo, Virgo, let's see. I hope that you guys are getting something from these readings. You're taking something that you can use. Yeah. All right, Virgo, let's see. Virgo, Virgo. Virgo. All right, Virgo. So things must be going well because your cards don't want to come out. All right, Virgo, two of wands. All right, so your your cards didn't want to come out because you're at a place of indecision, opposition. So it's like something is opposing the other. Okay, with the two of wands there, um, you got to choose. You got to make a dis. Well, you got to make a decision. You got to cut one off, cut something out. Um, you also this could indicate cheating if you're in a relationship like somebody, either you or the other person. You know, they have the tried and the true option, the person that they come home to, then they have this other wild, spontaneous person on the other side of town, possibly, that they spend their time with, that they go in between with those two wands there. This also could um, just indicate, once again, um, you gotta make some decision about where you're gonna put all of your focus. Um, in the two of wands, it says, make sure that you have really thought about this decision because the wrong the wrong decision could lead you down that road of karma or a karmic situation or a karmic connection. And karma is just about, you're going to have to work your way out of it. You're going to have to untangle, unravel yourself from this thing because you made the wrong decision, right? So do think, think heavy, think hard, 
uh, bouncing your ideas off of a trusted individual before you make some decision here. Um, let's see, what else do we have here for Virgo? This could be about starting something, starting something new. It says the grass is greener on the other side. You just have to get to the other side. You have to be courageous enough to actually do it. The wands are about action, so take some action here. This is Aries, so this is your yeah, action. The Six of Cups, this could even be about um, moving back home or moving or something about children or making a move. But you have to take children into account or a child into account here. This could like simpler times, making some move for the child or, or choosing the child or yeah, this is definitely moving. And maybe, maybe this move, you're going to be moving away from the other parent, you know, or you're going to be divorcing or separating from the parents. So you get them think about making this move here, uh, Virgo, um, you have to think about, uh, moving away. What does it mean? Um, maybe even going on this journey eight of cups here um this is uh making this move out of self um respect to you know that if you continue to stay here it's just you're going to continue to be disregarded maybe even disrespected in this so it's just about you being discontent with this situation and you needing to get out of it move away from it you can no longer continue to give energy effort time to it this could be career based this could be love that's what I have for you, Virgo. All right, so let's see what we got next. Libra. Libra. What's going on for Libra? What's going on for Libra? All right, Libra. All right, Libra. I wanted to show up. Knight of Cups. All right, so you're getting some, some downloads here, maybe from the spirit realm. Um, just really... This also could be proposal of some sort. Of course, it could be marriage, but there it could be a romantic proposal. I don't know what it could be. It could be invitation, you know, a date, invitation to go out on a date. Um, keep in mind that it is the Knight of Cups, so this person could have other people that they're dating or engaging with. Um, they could still be guarded. Um, they, they haven't fully released or uh, relinquished their heart to you, okay? Um, this also could be um, somebody who... Um, they love the newness of love. They love the beginning, you know, but then they get into a relationship and realize that it's work. They have to maintain it. So somebody with unrealistic expectations and love could be you, could be another person. All right, let's see. This also could be creative. You're thinking of creative ways to bring in money, you know, and you could be getting these downloads by way of spirit or whatever it is you believe in. All right, let's see what else we have for Libra. What else do we have for Libra? Five of Pentacles. Ooh, so that's a, 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 an opposing energy here. Um, somebody could be trying, this could be Aquarius too. Uh, somebody could be trying to bring something out of a, a real dead and dry place, okay? Um, somebody has lack of confidence in it moving forward, but the other person is just like, you know, they, they're putting time behind it. They're putting love behind it. They're putting an offer behind it. But maybe another person is like, I don't know if this is going to work. It's just not going to work. You know, they have lack of confidence and forward movement because it's been in a dead space for too long. Yeah, somebody wants somebody to make a snap decision, snap judgment. Somebody wants absolution. They want to be absolved of maybe their, um, their guilt. Uh, they want to be absolved of what they did, their transgressions um, with you. Um, they want you to forgive. They want you to release. They want you to relinquish your heart to them again. This could be you, Libra, or vice versa. Uh, this is also, yeah, making a decision to revive, to relive this. All right. Yeah, too, but the decision is still up in the air. Somebody's just keeping it up in the air. Someone hasn't said yes or no. They haven't really cut it off or cut it out. Uh, they're kind of letting it play out and maybe let this person act or react or put energy into it uh, just to see if they're really serious. You know, is this the one? Should they be engaging? So, interesting energy, Libra. 
All right, let's see. And now we have Scorpio. 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 All right, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, Seven of Swords, and the Empress wanted to show up. Okay, so Scorpio, it looks like um, somebody's still keeping eyes on you, maybe even talking about you, or you're talking about someone behind their back. Could be an Aquarius person, could be anybody here. Um, somebody's high on their horse. Someone could be just in, very independent. Yeah, someone could be uh, maybe talking about how you make your money. Somebody, this is your partner. This is maybe an ex-husband or husband or Scorpio. This is, um, this is snooping around. You're trying to figure out what this person is doing, who they're giving their time, energy, effort, money to, who they're engaging with. If there is a third party, are they in love? Have they brought this person back into their life? You have a lot of questions about who this person is dating, what they're doing or vice versa. This is what someone is doing in terms of you. Uh, it's try somebody's trying to be fair and balanced with money. Maybe with taking care of, um, maybe with their communication. Somebody's trying to keep you out of their business or vice versa. You're trying to keep them out of your business. Somebody's trying to be nice to you to garner information from you. This could be sister and brother. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, yes, yeah, somebody has some ulterior motive to get something from you, some paperwork, some money alone. Somebody has some, some, uh, getting some intuitive download about this information or about how somebody's coming at them. Yes, yeah, somebody's trying to use their words right or wisely to get what they want here. Maybe to get you to speak on something, to state your intentions. Maybe even this is this is like maybe recorded conversation. Somebody's trying to, it's like somebody's trying to set the other person up or set you up or, um, yeah. Maybe to use it against you. Be cautious of that. All right. So let's see what's going on for. Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right, Sag. What's going on for Sag? Oh, so your card just fell onto the floor. Let's see. All right, Judgment. Yeah, um, so somebody wants you to just forgive and forget release this thing and let's just start over let's uh start over let's start better let's finish what we started somebody could be emotionally immature you're trying to be balanced about this and not put too much energy emotion behind it you're not you're not trying to go too far to the left too far to the right you also let it the universe, you know, kind of take course here or show you who this person is or um, something about timing and patience. I'm trying to be patient with this person or they're trying to be patient with you. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Somebody wants to start something up again. You're not sure. Somebody's just unsure, just unclear about this because somebody is, they need to be either more romantic, put more romance into the relationship. Somebody needs to be more emotionally mature. The six of swords, you don't know whether to reconcile or move on. Yeah. Ace of cups, king of wands, king of pentacles. You don't know whether to reconcile or move on. It could be a situation where, you know, you love this person more than they love you or you love differently or vice versa. They love you more than um, you love them. You've got a lot of options here. You feel like it's unequally yoked 
or there's always a power struggle dynamic between the two of you. You feel like if you start it back up again, it's going to be very little progression. You're waiting. There's a lot of waiting here with the temperance and the seven of pentacles. You just have accepted that it's not moving forward right now. You've been frustrated with how this relationship situation business has been going. You might get some unexpected money coming into you. You have a yes answer in terms of business also with the two kings showing up. Somebody is just highly immature. You don't know if you should move on from them or stick with them vice or vice versa. You could be the older one. They could be the younger one. There could be a new baby or a new home or something new involved or yeah. You're just waiting. You're waiting for things to change or shift. All right. And now we have Capricorn. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. Capricorn. All right. One more for Capricorn. And there we are. Let's see. What do we have for Capricorn? All right, Capricorn, the Nine of Pentacles. So independent, you know, this is plans for you, maybe for your own business, plans that just involve you. You know, you're just doing you. Um, you've got everything that you need. Uh, you've got money, you've got the look, you've, you dress well, you smell good. You got, you know, the home, you got the cars. Let's see. Seven of Wands may even be cre creating bound. Some of you are keeping love relationships outside of your home space. It, and it's just like, and maybe even outside of your heart space. It's more so just um, sexual connections are just fun. You know, um, it's not serious. Um, you may keep it like this because you don't want people to destruct what you're building up. The strength card, yeah, you just really, um, you might even like engage with maybe sex workers or um, exotic dancers or somebody who does something in terms of um, sex and sex work or sexuality. Um, that could be the nature of your business or this is what you're engaging in, or this is what you want right now. You're keeping a lot of mystery about you and relationships because um, you don't you don't want any intimacy or this lack of intimacy in, in your connections, lack of vulnerability. Like you, people don't really know you. They just know you on the surface level. You know, the 10 of cups, it's just really about fun, you know, um, fun, happiness. Some of you could be, you could be prompted by a friend to go in business here also. Um, maybe and, and use other people's money to do so. Some of you, you had to pay out a lot of money in a divorce, um, some settlement, child support, alimony. Yeah, to the Queen of Pentacles, to the wife. You could have had an affair, some sexual affair, and it, it got found out, and now there is separation. Yeah, you had to pay out a lot of money here. You had to divide your fortune, your empire, your legacy. But the cards want to let you know that this is over. Yeah. Somebody found out that maybe you're into same sex. Yep. Into same sex. And it's, um, for you, it's taboo. It was hidden or it is hidden. Yeah. I always get that for Capricorn. <laughs> All right, so let's see Aquarius. Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius Collective? One more shuffle for the Aquarius. Uh, keep in mind, whomever um, does the timestamp, you will receive two free questions answered via the Tarot. Um, you'll just email me. Or I'll email you. Well, yeah, put your email down in a, whoever's first to do it, put your email down there so I can email you or, or if you don't want your email to the masses, then you can just um, email me. My email is in the description box. 
All right, let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Let's go. Oh, okay. The Four of Swords. Rest. Meditation. Take a chill pill. It's a temporary separation, a break here. Some of you could be coming off of vacation or going on to vacation. You're thinking about this vacation, this uh, upcoming vacation, maybe for your birthday. Um, you're doing something relaxing for your birthday. You're doing something where you can just, um, you know, turn off the ticker here. And the Six of Swords, very nice. Aquarius, get into a place of just rest, relaxation, understanding that this is what you need to be doing. Maybe even relaxing your mental. You got two swords cards here in terms of money also. You know, maybe something you're waiting on money. You're waiting on something. Yeah, this is money. You're waiting on money. It's just about um, calming yourself, calming your nerve, uh, just being rational in your thoughts. Also, this is releasing, you know, hurt from previous relationships, making sense of it all. Yeah. Making sense of it all, the judgment card, you know, just kind of absolving yourself of all this guilt, releasing all this frustration, releasing all of this uh, hurt, this pain, because you know you're going to another level or you want something different to manifest for you. You don't want to manifest um, guilt, pain, shame, hurt. You want to manifest that in a new person. So this is about releasing, yeah, 10 of cups, fortune after difficulty. It looks like harvest is here for you. Money will be coming into you, Aquarius. Um, just hang on. For the seeds that you planted a long time ago, it looks like the money will be returning to you. Also, if you start something new or you have started something that says, finish what you start here, seven of pentacles. Some of you are just frustrated with this process of waiting and waiting and waiting, not getting an answer, not knowing what's next. Some of you with the seven of pentacles here are... Um, You've accepted that this is just a waiting period. You've, you, you've conceded to the fact that this is it. I've accepted that there has been um, no activity or there's no activity right now, but you know that um, you're gonna get what you want, that you're going to have your day in, in the sun, your summer time in life, the 10 of cups here. Yeah, persevere through this Aquarius. Get creative in your thought process in terms of how to bring in the energy that you want. Fight for what you want too, you know? Fight, excuse me, fight for what you have, protect. Also protect yourself, uh, your pertinent information, your important information, your important documents. Um, don't let everybody into your business. Don't talk about everything that's happening for you or coming into you. Create boundaries with certain people Somebody tends to have a destructive influence on you. Could be a Leo, could be anyone. They're just not coming to construct anything. They're coming to destruct. So if you're constructing peace, serenity, calm, you're coming to knock that shit down, you know, and then leave. Also keep in mind that some of your ways, your reactions are destructive. Make sure that you're not being the destructive one, that you're constructing relationships, interpersonal connections, or how you, you act inter in interpersonal relationships. Yeah. Right now it says do nothing, just wait. All right, last but not least, we have Pisces. Let's see. What's going on for Pisces? All right, once more. All right, there we go. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Four of Wands, very nice. So in the home life, it's, it's uh, very peaceful, very serene. Um, maybe you found a new home, got some real estate, or, the, or you're into real estate um, with the Four of Wands here. Uh, successful completion of a project. So you, maybe you were working on something for a very long time and now you've completed it. Maybe you passed something, you passed a test or something like that with the Four of Wands here. Uh, there's going to be cause to celebrate. You're going to celebrate with loved ones. Um, you get a high level of self-esteem right now because of what you've done, what you've accomplished. Yeah, you were at something for a very long time, the Knight of Pentacles. Now you're seeing some profit in it. Now you're going to see a turnover, a turnaround. 
you could be in a relationship that's go you know grown a little bit boring mundane it just says interject some fun do something fun you know could be traveling for work or if you're in real estate then you do travel for work or you're you're um gonna see some profit maybe the profits has gone down for some of you I don't know why I'm picking it up the hermit card um self-reflection some of you feel like you need to be by yourself your personality is transitioning or something has changed within you and maybe you're highlighting this about yourself with the sun card here um maybe that you want to you have a love for more than one thing or more than one person maybe you want to take a relationship to the next level or you want to close out that cycle Some of you are hoping that um, some masculine energy pops the question. They're taking a very long time in doing so. Maybe even asking you to move in. Um, this could also be wanting forgiveness or asking forgiveness of. Some of you get a lot of attention online Yeah, you get a lot of attention online. Somebody somebody stepped out of the relationship or somebody wants to step out of the relationship. Someone stepped out of the relationship and now they're they want forgiveness. I don't think they asked for it though. That's what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, thank you, thank you for to all the zodiac signs. This is what I have for you. If any of the readings resonated with you go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the donate to l uh, the link is below you can also catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i do a collective reading just like this one and then you can ask questions yep thank you guys many blessings to you take care